hi it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibe uh, this is like the one I was supposed to do yesterday do apologize for the uh, chainsaw next door I can't stop them from doing it and it can't, I can't let it stop me from doing uh, my readings so um, it is what it is so anyhow um, that's what it is. They're cutting trees over there, so keep that in mind. Um, I do apologize for not being here yesterday and doing a daily vibe. I was in full uh, mama mode um, in every sense of the word. So uh, being a parent has to come first. So that's where we were at yesterday. So here we are. I'm going to do one now, and I am going to do one tonight. So we're going to get two daily vibes today. So, and I won't be able to get to the Januaries right away because I have private readings for the rest of the day today. Five of them back to back to back to back to back. So that's what I'll be doing all day. Anyhow, so let's get started. What do we have for a message today? Eight of Cups. I just happened to notice it. It's flipped over. That's walking away, saying goodbye to somebody. Maybe somebody's leaving. Maybe that's the plan. To escape. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here! Anyhow, let's keep going. What do we have? What do we have for a message today? King of Coins Reverse. Now the King of Coins Reverse is somebody that is very unstable. Insecure. Ah, hmm. Hierophant. Hierophant is a higher power. So we have a higher power that is involved here. The Hierophant is, I don't know, what I just heard was Confession. And we usually, I usually don't get that with the Hierophant. I know that that is a meaning of this card sometimes, but it usually doesn't pop in my head like that. Some sort of, somebody may get it, be getting a confession or something like that. But anyhow, they may be even seeking advice because the Hierophant is a counselor. They may be getting some advice from a counselor. They may be needing advice from a counselor. This person is unstable, very insecure, not practical, not realistic. Uh, and something about commitment here, committed. Somebody may end up needing to be committed to something. They may need to commit to something. Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is socializing, partying, drinking, having fun, um socializing we could have something to do with social media here somebody may be on social media doesn't have to be but this is socializing um, having a lot of fun but whoever this person is that is having a lot of fun socializing probably isn't being very responsible they're probably not being realistic they're not being practical they may be doing something illegal and there's a higher power that is watching this go on. Okay, so there is a higher power. Could be somebody in a position of authority even, whether it's God or government or who knows what it is. But somebody is watching. This is the highest authority. Could be dealing with a Taurus. We have Taurus here. We have Taurus here. Could be uh, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Can be any sign. We do have socializing quite a bit could be on social media death oh boy so death we have an ending this is an ending something is about to come to an end this partying and socializing and having all this fun is about to come to an end okay it is about to come to an end hopefully it doesn't end badly it could end badly um, it could I'm just being honest with you uh, death is a profound change. It is a separation and a loss. And this appears to be a loss as well. So we could have a loss here. 
um, there is a higher power that is watching all of this go on, watching this. This seems to be a lot of fun, but it's not in the right way because that King of Pentacles is reversed. It's not realistic. And this is unplanned. There could be an unplanned loss, okay? And it could be something you could touch, you know? Sometimes the universe will take things away of a value, you know, because of stupidity, you know? Anyhow, this death card is a new beginning that comes after an ending, okay? Um, Seven of coins, time to go. It's time to relocate. This is a dead end. There's no more growth here. It is, it's time for a relocation. Somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting for the moment for something to end. We look like we looks like it looks like we have somebody here that is going to be happy. This person looks happy that it's over. Happy that they can, you know, just just go. Somebody looks happy. I'm happy. Now I can go. It's over. I don't have to take care of this anymore. It's done. This season is over. Okay? So this this season is over. And we have somebody here that is going to be happy that this is ending. Because it's now they can relax. They don't have to work on it anymore. It's it's like now it's time to relax. Something is coming to an end. Ooh, six of coins reversed. This is definitely a loss. Okay, this is a loss. This is a loss. This is a loss. Now, six of pentacles reversed is, is getting fired, becoming unemployed. This is a fraud. This is somebody that does not seek any professional advice, will not take any advice. Somebody that is very greedy. There could even be a theft with this. So they may, we may have somebody that steals. This is an abuse of generosity and an abuse of power. That abuse of power is coming to an end because the highest authority is in control. Okay? So somebody has abused their power. They're very, very greedy and selfish. There's lack of... of uh, reciprocation here. There's one-sidedness. Somebody has been doing all the work. They've been giving and working hard. Now that season is over. There's it's it, there's been uh, one person that was doing everything. It's like the other person was partying and having fun and socializing and whatever. Hmm. Ten of Cups reverse. Now the Ten of Cups is, is there could be family issues. There could be problems at home, uh, problems within a relationship. This is a commitment of some sort, and this could be a family relationship. Could be to be between parents and children. Could be to be between lovers. Whatever. The Ten of Cups reversed is not happiness. Okay, this is relationship problems. Children leaving. This is a dying dream. And this is a dying dream. So we have somebody, and I'm sorry, this is reality. And I know we got a lot of people that don't like to accept reality. It's very clear, the first card out. So, anyhow, the reality is we have somebody here that isn't being responsible. They're not being responsible. They're not being respectable. They're not acting with integrity. And there's a higher power that is watching. This whole uh, social game or whatever it is that they're playing and they're having fun with is about to come to an end. And it ain't going to end in a good way. Just saying. This is unfair. This is an injustice. Two of lies are going to be exposed. There's some sort of exposure here. Truth is coming out. We have somebody here that is, is emotionally cold. And they're under a lot of emotional turmoil. And it's affecting the family. It's affecting the home. It's affecting the relationship.
There's a lot of overwhelming fears and worry here. There's unfair treatment. There's definitely some unfair treatment here. We have one person that's been doing all the work. This person's going to be very relieved when this is over. There's one-sidedness here. Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity to do something. Somebody has manifested something. They have manifested a new path or a new opportunity. They have. This is manifestation, and this is a higher power that may have heard somebody's prayers. Which is interesting. Maybe it's this person's. Anyhow, this situation that has caused a lot of anxiety and fear is about... To, these are mirroring each other. They're, it's about to come to an end. It is. Now, this is a new beginning. This is about stability and security. Somebody is, is going to uh, be given an opportunity... To become stable. Okay? They are. They're going to be given an opportunity to become stable. This is also a reality check. So somebody is going to get a reality check of some sort. This is also a gift. Woo! Ah, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. She is very authentic. She's very authentic. She's very truthful. She's very... This may be a professional. We may have a professional here that is stepping in. She's very direct. So that she's very direct. So this could, this could be a director even. This is direct communication. Truthful, honest seeing things from a new perspective somebody is going to be seeing something from a new perspective she is very brash very to the point very decisive so the queen of swords is making a decision based on logic she is making a decision this is a gift of some sort giving somebody a gift this queen of swords is giving somebody a gift of security and stability so decision is being made for this individual who isn't very wise, okay? That person isn't wise up there. That, queen, that Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity for success. It could lead to happiness. But faith is needed because that is a card of faith. Somebody's faith may have manifested something. Because this is manifestation. That is faith. faith, And this is happiness. So there could be some... There even could be a reunion. This is a reunion of some sort. There could be a... I know I'm changing the story, but I'll tell you what I see. And bits and pieces will resonate with you. There could be a happy reunion here. That comes after a loss because the death card is a loss. This is a loss, too. So we do have a loss here, which is going to, uh, you know, bring relief. There's some sort of exposure as well, seeing the truth. Somebody's going to be seeing the truth, speaking the truth. There's truth coming out. We could have, we could have, there's, there's relationship problems here. Could be a third party situation. We could have somebody here that is unfaithful and the truth comes out. What's that, a shadow? Well, of course it is. You know what a shadow means? All is not as it seems. 
There's something hidden. There's no such thing as coincidence. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. We have a very big shadow here. There is something below the surface. And before you know it, it's going to be seen. The light is going to be shed again. The light is going to be shed. No doubt about it. Something is off. Something is hidden. And that whatever is hidden is about to come out. And it is going to cause a major ending. Because this is a major ending. It is a profound change. Somebody could uh, get become unemployed. They could lose some money. They could definitely lose some money. But this is a golden opportunity to start over. To start fresh. To build stability. So some, this is actually a gift. It's actually a blessing. So whatever this loss is, it leads to a blessing. It leads to a new beginning. It definitely leads to a new beginning. Um, there's going, something is about to be exposed that has been hidden that sends somebody down a new path. It could, they could be sent down this path against their will. I just got to be honest with you. There could be some sort of professional that is stepping in. Now the Queen of Swords is a fast thinker. Somebody that thinks fast. That is very an intense and assertive and wise Very intelligent. We have a very smart person that is, I think she's saying something or she's doing something. It feels as though she's, uh, I don't know, almost feels like it's a counselor, but I don't know if it is. It might not be a counselor, but I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I feel like it is. It could be a counselor that is um, doing something. Anyway, that Ace of Pentacles is going down a new path. This is a golden opportunity to regain stability and be happy. But you have to have faith and you have to commit to it and you have to believe in the higher power that this ending has happened for a reason. There is an ending here. There's some sort of injustice. There's been unfairness and there's been some lies. But the lies that have been hidden are about to be exposed. The truth is about to come out about this situation. The Three of Cups can be drinking. Somebody may be drinking a lot. This could be a police officer. Doesn't have to be. Could be a lawyer. Um, counselor, doctor, whoever it is, this is somebody that is in a professional position. Oh, 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 it's the end of this party. I knew that it was. I just wanted clarification. And there's some sort of unfinished business here as well. The world reversed to somebody that is lacking goals, that is refusing to explore new avenues that is very entitled, that refuses to listen to anyone, that doesn't learn from their mistakes. We have somebody here that has reached the end of their journey, but they still haven't learned their lesson. They're still making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And they're not having any success. When you get the, the world card reversed, we have somebody here that needs to accept. They need to accept and cut their losses. They need to move on, but they're refusing. This is somebody that is resisting change. It's going to be, somebody's going to be forced against their will. This party is over.
I really feel as though somebody could become un unemployed if they're if they are if you're already unemployed and you think that you're going to get some sort of um, you could get a new job. I mean, this could be a new job if you've been unemployed. But anyway, this is this is lack of success, needing to be authentic, and this is be I think I don't know something somebody's going to be forced I believe to go down a new path. It's almost like being forced to change. Good luck.